The Five Levels of Drinking by Larry Miller. Level one. It's 11 on a weeknight. You've had a few beers. You get up to leave because you have work the next day and one of your friends buys another round. One of your unemployed friends. Here at level one, you think to yourself, oh, come on, this is silly. Why, as long as I can get seven hours of sleep, I'm cool. Level two, it's midnight. You've had a few more beers. You've just spent 20 minutes arguing against artificial turf. You get up to leave again, but at level two, a little devil appears on your shoulder. And now you're thinking, hey, I'm out with my friends. What am I working for anyway? These are the good times. Besides, as long as I get five hours of sleep, I'm cool. Level three, one in the morning. You've abandoned beer for tequila. You've just spent 20 minutes arguing for artificial turf. And now you're thinking, our waitress is the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. At level three, you love the world. On the way to the bathroom, you buy a drink for the stranger at the end of the bar just because you like his face. You get drinking fantasies like, Hey, fellas, if we bought our own bar, we could live together forever. We could do it. Tommy, you could cook. But at level three, that devil is a little bit bigger. And he's buying. And you're thinking, oh, come on, come on now. As long as I get three hours sleep and a complete change of blood, I'm cool. Level four, two in the morning, and the devil is bartending. <laughs> For last call, you ordered a bottle of rum and coke. You are artificial turf. This time on your way to the bathroom, you punch the stranger at the end of the bar just because you don't like his face. And now you're thinking, our bus boy is the best looking man I've ever seen. You and your friends decide to leave right after you get thrown out. And one of you knows an after hours bar. And here at level four, you actually think to yourself, well, as long as I'm only going to get a few hours sleep anyway, I may as well stay up all night. Yeah, that'd be good for me. I don't mind going to that board meeting looking like Keith Richards. Yeah, I'll turn that around, make it work for me. And besides, as long as I get 31 hours sleep tomorrow, cool. Level five, five in the morning. After unsuccessfully trying to get your money back at the tattoo parlor. But I don't even know anybody named Ruby. At this point, even the devil is going, uh, I gotta turn in. I gotta be in hell at nine. I've got that brunch with him. I can't miss that. You and your friends wind up across the state line in a bar with guys who have been in prison as recently as that morning. At this point, you're all drinking some kind of thick blue liquor, usually used to clean crumbs. A waitress with fresh stitches comes over and you're thinking, someday I'm going to marry that girl. One of your friends stands up and screams, we're driving to Florida! and passes out. You crawl outside for air and then you hit the worst part of level five, the sun. You weren't expecting that, were you? You never do. You walk out of a bar in daylight and you see people who are on their way to work or jogging. And they look at you and they know. And they say, 
Who's Ruby? Let's be honest. If you're 19 and you stay up all night, it's exactly like you've beat the night. But if you're over 30, then that sun is like God's flashlight. We all say the same prayer then. I swear I will never do this again. How long? As long as I live. And some of us have that little addition. And this time, I mean it.